Bitter heat in the summer. Brutal cold in the winter. Violent weather patterns occurring across the globe with more frequency and greater destructive capability than ever before. When we look at all these storm cells happening around the globe, it seems that the power and focus of these storms is almost being engineered. We can look at the paths of hurricanes and see that they're not random anymore. What if there's a more sinister explanation? Something man-made? Some say there's a top secret government device that can destroy our world. capable of causing earthquakes, hurricanes, tsunamis. Conspiracy theorists say it can even be used to control your mind. Has the US government created the ultimate weapon of war? Something more devastating than a nuclear bomb? If so, who will feel the brunt of such a terrifying technology. And what can we do to stop it? Tonight, we'll unseal the government's secret files on HARP. What if the history you were taught in school was all a lie? Is our government controlled by a secret society? Welcome to the world of conspiracy, where cover-ups Secrets and hidden agendas all trace back to a single source. We're about to unseal the secret files the government doesn't want you to know about. This is Unsealed Conspiracy Files. About 180 miles from Anchorage lies the solitary town of Gakona, Alaska. It is here where, according to some, one of the most dangerous projects ever conceived by the US government is currently taking place. And the public knows virtually nothing about it. It's the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, better known as HARP. The HARP installation is a 35-acre facility that has over 160 antenna arrays all linked up together. They have a 3.6 million watt transmitter which shoots ELF, or extremely low frequency waves, into our ionosphere, which then bounce back to Earth, increasing exponentially in power. The government says HARP is merely a research facility. Some experts believe that the real purpose of this top secret installation is as a weapon against our enemies, and maybe even our own people. The potential damage caused by this facility has already proven all too real. So there's some that theorize that these mass animal deaths are and could be connected to the HARP installation doing these experiments, which again, we have no idea what the effects truly are dairy cattle afflicted with behavioral aberrations, damaged fetal tissue, cataracts. Unexpected wildlife mutations have been cropping up near the radiation paths of these antennas for years. It's theorized that when HARP is in operation and they're shooting these ELF waves up into the ionosphere, that that's affecting animal migrations and herds of animals. The list of HARP's unintentional side effects goes on. If you are affecting whale migrations or honeybee migrations, you're not just affecting those animals, you're affecting planet Earth as a whole. People should be highly concerned if HARP is really affecting the fundamental powers of nature. The origin of HARP is shrouded in mystery and deception. Unsealed case file, the HARP patent. 1987, Houston, Texas. The patents, which would allegedly lead to HARP, are filed by an oil company physicist. In looking at the actual patent for the HARP instrumentation, it says here on the cover, a method and apparatus for altering a region in the Earth's atmosphere, ionosphere, or magnetosphere. The official goals of HARP 
to communicate with submarines deep underwater, to search for sites of military interest using powerful radio waves, to enhance radio transmission by heating and interacting with the Earth's ionosphere. But it's the alleged unofficial goals of HARP that most worry its detractors. This patent has all sorts of military applications that can be employed as a warning device. It, it uh, says right here, it puts unprecedented amounts of power in the Earth's atmosphere. The government continues to deny that the facility is being used in an attempt to affect the weather. But patent number 468605 says something very different. We're talking about a weapon. So it's very interesting that all throughout this patent, it's actually spelled out in black and white the actual uses for this to be a, some type of weather modification. But just because HARP could affect the weather doesn't mean it has. With weather manipulation, you can turn a cloudy day into a sunny day. You can turn a sunny day into a rainy day, even create a tornado out in the middle of nowhere if you really wanted to. Coming up next, are natural disasters really natural? Is HARP responsible for the dramatic rise in extreme weather conditions? And what is the government planning to do about it? Unsealed. Conspiracy Files. Welcome back to the world of conspiracy. This is Unsealed. Conspiracy Files. Many attribute the upturn in severe weather around the world to man-made global warming. But with the creation of the high-powered antenna array known as HARP, is it possible that mankind's role in the weather is more than incidental? Is a top-secret government project actually controlling the weather? We've done it before. Unsealed case file. Operation Popeye. March 1967. The Ho Chi Minh Trail. Ground zero in the battle to control the weather. Seeking an edge in the intensifying Vietnam War, the U.S. military launches a bold initiative. Operation Popeye was a weather manipulation program during the Vietnam War. What they wanted to do was seed clouds or create clouds to then cause a torrential downpour on troops on the battlefield. The goal? Increase rainfall and deny the North Vietnamese access to their supply routes. And they did. They extended a monsoon season by 30 days. Officially, the aircraft and their crews were part of normal weather recon operations. But in reality, something far more sinister was going on. And some conspiracy theorists think the government is making it happen again. Unsealed case file, Hurricane Katrina. August 23rd, 2005, the Bahamas. The National Weather Service begins tracking a medium-sized storm heading to Florida. Mysteriously, the unremarkable storm suddenly transforms into a Category 5 hurricane, with winds gusting up to 175 miles per hour. Some say Hurricane Katrina was not an act of nature, but an act of war. When Hurricane Katrina stopped, she went on a, a very straight path. It's not a path that most hurricanes take. It was almost a beeline. It was a beeline right through into the Gulf of uh, Mexico, aiming right at the heart of New Orleans. That was such a precise hurricane that a lot of people began to wonder, was that being manipulated? If true, it could mean our enemies are attacking us using the weather as a weapon. One year after the costliest hurricane season in U.S. history, not a single hurricane made landfall in the U.S. Is it possible that America is using HARP to avoid attacks from our enemies? Weather warfare and counter-weather warfare measures 
each of which would be using high frequency radio waves to control small climates over specific areas. And a lot of people think this is exactly the future of warfare. Another coincidence? HARP was rushed into completion right after the 2005 hurricane season. Some researchers who have been studying HARP believe they have learned to recognize the warning signs. They're known as HARP rings or scalar squares. Now, basically what HARP rings are, are these pulses of energy that turn up on radar screens. You will see radar picking up circular image on a radar screen, an intense energy pulse. And then between 48 and 72 hours later, there'll be a major Earth climate effect. Is it possible that HARP is responsible for other recent extreme weather events? Some say HARP was the cause of atmospheric irregularities over Japan just days before the massive earthquake and tsunami devastated the area. 72 hours in advance of the tsunami that knocked out the Fukushima uh, nuclear plant in Japan, there was just such an energy pulse. Conspiracy theorists were saying, did a country, let's say China, want to create a nuclear event in Japan? So they triggered an earthquake. April 28, 1997, Athens, Georgia. Former U.S. Defense Secretary William Cohen makes a chilling admission. Others are engaging in an eco-type of terrorism whereby they can alter the climate, set off earthquakes, volcanoes remotely through the use of electromagnetic waves. It's real, and that's the reason why we have to intensify our efforts. William Cohen, former U.S. Defense Secretary. Coming up, if HARP is capable of controlling the weather, what else can it control? It's a human destruction device, but it's on a biblical scale, on a global scale. Unsealed. Conspiracy Files. Welcome back to the world of conspiracy. This is Unsealed Conspiracy Files. Some experts say that Project Harp in Gakona, Alaska, is a dangerous U.S. government operation that can control the weather. But many Americans feel that weather control is just a tiny part of the damage HARP can do. Unsealed case file, radio wave warfare. So the patent regarding how radio waves can affect communications devices, interfere with communications devices, interfere with the ability of guided missiles to communicate. What if we could use HARP to turn the missiles around so the very cruise missiles that an enemy might launch at us suddenly turn around and fly back at the enemy? Can we do this? If I look at some of the specific call-outs here, this one here says, an invention that provides the ability to put unprecedented amounts of power into the Earth's atmosphere at strategic locations. It's right here in the pack. You can open up holes in the atmosphere in such a way that you target the enemy with lethal solar radiation. But you can also literally fry your enemy. Now imagine how terrifying that would be. Even more chilling, HARP is only one of several such transmitters around the world. Arecibo, Puerto Rico. Vasilsursk, Russia. Tromso, Norway. These arrays all have the capability of heating the ionosphere with mega beams of radiation. I think no matter what explanation you give for HARP, there's going to be dangers to the research that they're conducting. Could HARP literally burn a hole in Earth's atmosphere? Imagine the awesome power of an enemy ripping open the ionosphere over New York City and all these happy people bouncing along from Port Authority to get their first Starbucks in the morning literally turn into bacon crisps. At an estimated cost of a quarter billion dollars, HARP allegedly uses inconceivable amounts of energy when operating at full power, and its effects could be felt over an entire hemisphere. In recent years, mysterious cloud formations have been appearing in the sky with alarming frequency. 
A lot of conspiracy books have said that the whole concept of trails of chemicals spread in a pattern in the upper atmosphere are, are, are part of heart. They're being used to focus radio waves. Researchers have become suspicious that the contrails expelled from today's jets are thicker than in the past. Some believe it's all part of the mechanism of weather warfare. Our government claims that chemtrails. What we are spreading are basically oxides, metallic oxides in the atmosphere, but it's for research purposes. We're not doing anything damaging. Scientists think these chemtrails may contain substances designed to alter the upper atmosphere. The goal? To make HARP even more effective at bouncing dangerous levels of radiation off the ionosphere to any target on Earth. And what if the target isn't a country, but just one person? Some experts think that hidden in those rays could be a message. Basically, all the way back in 1994, the Air Force conducted an experiment using radio to try to put thoughts into the brains of test subjects. Could sound waves implant certain kinds of emotions into test subjects? Is there real science behind this, or is this a tin hat theory? Well, the answer is there is real science behind it. The Air Force denies any such program exists. Basically, the brain is an electromagnetic device. <clears throat> thoughts, what we call thoughts, ideas, visions, all move around our brain, inside our brain, by electrons. If you can interfere with those electrons in certain ways, what do you create? Panic. You create light. And it wouldn't be the first time the military has dabbled in experiments with mind control. Documents unearthed in 1977 revealed a CIA mind control research project called MK Ultra. Although it seems a little bit far-fetched, if you look at the past, the CIA launched a program that has been known as MK Ultra that was aimed to control the human mind. So if they've done it before, who's to say they're not doing it now? Coming up, the shocking report which blows the lid off the government's plans for a future full of weather control. Unsealed. Conspiracy Files. Bigger than 26 football fields, costing one quarter of a billion dollars, including an array of 180 antennas. Is the government's top secret military weapon hiding in plain sight with a goal of controlling the world's weather? The military says they have no such plan for HARP. The paper trail says otherwise. According to the report, the ability to generate precipitation, fog, and storms on Earth or to modify space weather and the production of artificial weather all are a part of an integrated set of military technologies. The future of warfare may not be bombs or bullets, but earthquakes and tsunamis. After all, if you never know a shot has been fired, you may not even know you're at war until you've already lost. Unsealed. Conspiracy Files.